Hello students, I am Shyamji from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today, through this PowerPoint presentation, I am going to discuss about the physics of arc welding and the principles of generating the arc. Okay. So first of all, I am going to my first slide. That is the, what is the electric, electric arc welding? Basically, electric uh, arc welding is the electric discharge to the ionic gas color and it generates due to the contact rate okay in, in an, another way we can also define the welding that is the is the welding process uh, which is used for the welding the metal with the help of the electricity to generate the sufficient heat for sustaining the metal as well as the sustaining the metal and the, then it is cooled and the material will be welded that means the source of heat in case of this arc welding will be the arc, electric arc. Okay. And this type of welding uses the power supply to make an arc among a metal stick and the base metal to sustain the metals at the end of, at, uh, of the contact. Okay. Here I, I have used some terms that is the electric discharge, ionized gas, and the contact resistance. Okay. So I am going to discuss all these terms in my upcoming slide. At first, I am going to show you uh, one slide that is the physics of welding. Okay, we can see uh, in this picture uh, that represents the entire circuit diagram of arc welding. In our left hand side, we can see this is the, our power supply, and uh, this is our the blue portion is our workpiece, and this is our electrode which is held in the electrode holder. Okay. And there are two cables coming from the power source that means the transformer. One is connected uh, to the workpiece and another is connected to the electrode holder and to this electrode. Okay. So to make it to make complete a, uh, a circuit, there should not be any gap between this electrode and the workpiece. And here the, there is a term that is the arc which completes the entire circuit. Okay, in normal condition, that means when the, we are not doing the arc welding, so there is also gap between the electrode and the workpiece, and uh, there is uh, atmospheric air. Okay, in in that case, the circuit is not completed because the atmospheric air is not conducted through electricity. Okay, but when the arc is generated between this uh, electrode uh, and the workpiece, that means here, then the one cause we can see there is a complete circuit electrical circuit and then only we can perform this arc welding that means the the heat will be generated through the electricity here and the base metal will be melted and we, we can do the our joining process okay. so now uh, this watch this two portion that is the electrode and the workpiece okay i'm going to show you in, in detail about this physics of this arc welding you may next slide that is the here in the left hand side picture we can see there are two portions this is called cathode and this is called anode in actual case the cathode is the electrode and anode is the workpiece okay and cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply and anode is connected to the positive terminal of this power supply here, DC power supply is restricted, but that may be AC also. It depends in our welding types. Okay. So now I'm coming to the physics portion. So between this cathode and anode, we can see there is a entire gap between these two portions. And in this gap, basically the arc is generated. Okay. And this is I, I have mentioned this is the ionized gas column. We can see here. That means uh, please prefer to this right hand side picture actually this is the anode this is the cathode and in this entire region, region mainly there are three portions plasma column anode region and cathode region okay and between this cathode and anode region that is here in this portion that means in this portion actually we can see the collisions of the of the particles in case of cathode, we can see the negative electrons will come to this anode portion and the positive ions will, will come to this uh, this cathode portion. So, 
in a in short we can say that we can see the exchange of the cations and anions here and the in the middle portions uh, we can see the atomic collisions okay and uh, through these atomic collisions actually the plasma column is generated and it is conducted to the current okay and uh, that is why the one uh, entered circuit is completed through this arc so this is the basic things of the arc i'm not going into uh, detail of this okay so it's for me another slide that is the working principle of the electric arc so one common question is arises what is the basic principle of this arc okay so an arc is generated between two conductors electricity that means cathode and anode i have already discussed about those topics okay so when they are tasked to stabilize the flow of current and then separated by a small distance okay so i am uh, discussing about this uh, to my now uh, previous one slide that means here that means this is the electrode and this is the work piece okay so uh, again i am telling what what is the actual phenomena okay so to generate this arc we we at first touch this electrode with this work piece then we uh, separate it okay and we maintain a, a certain gap between this uh, electrode and the work piece okay and arc is a sustained electric discharge to the ionized gas column okay that means plasma between two electrodes that is generated between these okay and in order to produce the arc potential difference between two electrodes should be sufficient okay to allow them to move across this air gap so this is the basic principle and, and and another point i want to mention that is the larger air gap requires higher potential differences if the air gap uh, becomes too large the arc may be extinguished okay so we have to maintain the specific gap between the between the electrode and the work piece okay so uh, here i can also prefer some uh, welding equipment okay which are required that i have written here i am not reading all the slides so i am requesting everyone to pause my video to every slide and note the important points okay so this is these are the main topics that i have covered through this lecture and you can see in you here the common safety rules okay i i i have prepared another video from the workshops the video link is available in this uh, description portion of this video okay so thank you for watching this video please like and share my video okay thank you